Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media here today with a video on the most common 6.1 Hemi engine problems. The 6.1 liter Hemi is a 6.1 liter V8 engine that was produced from 2005 until 2010. So ultimately the SRT8 vehicles and 6.1 Hemi had a relatively short lifespan before Chrysler had moved on to the larger 6.4 Hemi engine in their 392 or Scat Pack vehicles. The 6.1 Hemi offers 425 horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque. Nothing incredible by modern standards, but certainly for when this engine was introduced in 2005. Very respectable power and torque output from this 6.1 liter V8. And it's also a very simple, straightforward engine design, which is good for reliability, ultimately means that this engine does not suffer from a lot of common problems and really isn't an overly complex engine to work on. For example, compared to some of the newer Hemi engines, the 6.1 Hemi lacks any variable valve timing or MDS, the multi-displacement system. So a little bit of an older engine that doesn't have some of that new technology incorporated, which ultimately means good things for reliability for the 6.1 Hemi, but it's still not a perfect engine and does suffer from a couple issues that are more common than others. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in and discuss the most common issues with the 6.1 Hemi. Number one on the list, we have lifter roller failure or lifter failure. So lifters and lifter rollers are a well-known problem among all third gen Hemi engines, not just the 6.1 Hemi. However, with them being very well known to some extent, that also means that they're a little blown out of proportion on the internet. So it's not hard to find a lot of horror stories about any third gen Hemi engines having issues with the lifters and or lifter rollers. So this isn't a super common issue that affects a ton of 6.1 Hemi engines. That is especially true with this engine because there is no variable valve timing and no MDS on the engine. Two things that are often believed to at least partially contribute to lifter and lifter roller issues on the third gen Hemi engines. And it does appear that lifter and lifter roller failure on the 6.1 seems to be a little less common than it is on the 5.7 and 6.4 Hemi engines, especially those equipped with the MDS technology. So the main issues with the lifters is that it's actually the lifter rollers that end up seizing and contacting the cam lobes and then taking out the lifters in the process. And this ultimately leads to potentially very loud ticking sounds from the 6.1 Hemi. So if you're noticing any ticking noises or anything unusually loud, then the lifters and lifter rollers are one thing to consider. Now again, it has been largely blown out of proportion, but it still was worth discussing briefly since lifter failure can be a very costly and devastating issue. In most cases, at the very least, require replacing the camshaft. And in worst case scenario, which is very rare that this does happen, but if you don't catch this issue soon enough, it's possible that some of those metal shavings from the metal on metal contact end up being moved throughout the engine oil into the internals and taking out or damaging other components but it is something to be on the lookout for since if you do run into issues with the lifters, it's important to get that addressed as soon as possible. Moving on to our second common problem, we have high oil consumption. Excessive oil consumption is much like the lifter and lifter roller issues in the sense that it isn't a truly common issue or something that really affects a large percentage or number of 6.1 Hemis on the road. However, it is a known issue and something to be aware of. It hasn't shown to have any negative impacts on overall reliability or longevity, but it is important to be aware and be on the lookout for high oil consumption as if you're running into this, it could be a sign or symptom of another underlying issue. If there isn't another underlying issue, a lot of the times this won't affect the lifespan or longevity of the engine, but it is very important to pay attention to oil levels, make sure that the oil is topped up and you have proper oil levels within the 6.1 Hemi, as obviously running the engine low on oil for extended periods can cause 
cause advanced wear and tear on the engine and in that case shorten the lifespan. But in most cases, this isn't a serious issue. Again, as long as you're staying on top of those oil levels, there are a few things to also help avoid or mitigate the amount of oil consumption you're experiencing. The basics, use high quality oils, change the oil on time. Additionally, avoid any excess idlings. And then a final thing is installing an oil catch can, which is a very popular aftermarket mod. For our third and final common problem, just wanted to talk about some age-related issues with the 6.1 Hemi. Again, it was produced from 2005 until 2010. So we are talking about a roughly 15 to 20 year old engine here making these SRT8s a little bit dated and any older engine in general is going to have some additional maintenance and repairs that pop up more frequently than they would on a newer vehicle. Anything plastic or plastic-like or rubber components, hoses, gaskets, seals, O-rings, Things of that nature just tend to degrade with age, and a lot of the times mileage doesn't even have a massive impact. Sometimes those rubber parts being 15 years old can be just as detrimental, if not more so, than a newer component with significantly more mileage. And so age really just takes a toll on some of these components and starts degrading, wearing down, and then developing things like oil leaks, coolant leaks coming from, again, hoses, gaskets, seals, anything of that nature. And so again, not really any design flaw with the 6.1 Hemi. It's really just something to consider if you are looking to pick one of these engines up today that they are older engines. It is going to require a little bit more maintenance and a couple extra repairs here and there to keep the engine fresh and updated. So is the 6.1 Hemi engine reliable? Yes, I certainly believe the 6.1 Hemi engine earns above average remarks for reliability. All of the third gen Hemi engines with the exception of the lifter and lifter roller problems are very reliable engines engines, and the 6.1 Hemi out of all of the third gen engines is debatably the best of the bunch. Again, it lacks some of the technology like MDS and variable valve timing, which actually helps keep this a very simple, straightforward engine design and overall helps improve reliability on the 6.1 Hemi. Now, again, when it comes to common problems, none of these are truly common issues, and really the only two potential design flaws revolve around those lifters, lifter rollers, and high oil consumption, which neither are very common or truly common issues on the 6.1 Hemi. So keep up with basic maintenance, take care of any repairs and issues as soon as they pop up. Overall, maintain the vehicle well, and the 6.1 Hemi is a very reliable engine that can live for a long time in these SRT8 models. Anyway, with that said, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone.